How to make venison stew. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Venison's strong, gamey flavour makes for a rich, tasty stew. Award-winning chef Sophie Wright has developed this recipe for stewed venison with black cherries and juniper. This recipe will serve four people and there's a recap of the ingredients at the end of the film. Step one, sear the steak. So we've got a kilo of diced venison. This is braising venison. So it's not the good cut, it's the cheaper cuts. You cook it for a longer time and then it renders down slower and you get a more succulent meat. We're just gonna coat that in some seasoned flour. The reason you do this is so when you're cooking your stew, you actually get a thicker sauce. Coat it or do it a little bit at a time. I've got a pan heating up. I'm going to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Okay, so you wanna put it in to your pan, into the oil, and you wanna get a nice even coating of meat into the pan. The idea here is you wanna get a nice color all over the meat. Shake off any excess flour, and you wanna leave that on one side until it's nicely browned. It's very tempting to turn it over too early, but you want a lot of color because color is flavor. Step two, shallots and spices. Okay, now that your meat has browned off, you want to add your shallots and all your herbs and spices. So you've got six shallots that have just been cut in half and peeled. Just put those straight into your pan. Along with that, you've got two sprigs of thyme, uh, two bay leaves and two cloves of chopped garlic. In they go. You've also got cinnamon stick, um, uh, star anise and four juniper berries. Now get those a nice good coating. Uh, don't worry about all the burnt bits at the bottom of the pan because we're going to add some red wine and that's going to scrape everything away. Give your stew a lovely flavour. Step three, liquid. So here I've got 400 mils of red wine. Add it in, you'll hear a nice sizzle. This is called deglazing. Now you want to loosen all of the nice crispy toasty bits off the bottom of your pan because they're what's going to give your stew an, uh, another element, another flavour. And just let that reduce slightly. Now that your wine has started to reduce slightly in bubble, you want to add 500 mils of beef stock. Like that. Season with some salt and pepper, quite generously. Okay, now you need to bring your stew up to the boil. When it starts boiling, you can uh, just turn off the heat lid on top, put it in the oven for about two hours. Step four, berries. Okay, the stew's been in the oven for about two hours. We're gonna take it out, add the cherries, and then cook it for another half an hour or so. Okay, the stew's had half an hour now with the cherries, and what I've done in the meantime is just made some mashed potatoes, just simply by boiling them and mashing them, adding some cream and butter. And this has had about two and a half hours cooking now, so the meat's gonna be really, really tender. And there you go. Venison stew with black cherries and juniper. Done.